Greetings all and welcome back to the channel for the quick Wednesday update on one of the latest upcoming handheld devices. And this is it here, the Ambenic RG40XXV. So this is basically the vertical version of the 40XXH, which is currently available for purchase. Uh, the 40XXH in itself is very similar to the 35XX range. It's got the same processor and the same amount of RAM. The main differences are the design and the screen size, which is 4 inch instead of 3.5. So the V will also have a 4 inch screen with a 640 by 480 resolution and the new 64 bit operating system and Winnick operating system. It looks quite interesting. You've got this blue that doesn't look blue on the video, the white and the see through black. Personally, I like the white a lot. I think the RGB lighting around the analog stick is going to look great on it. Design-wise, I'm thinking that Anbenek took some inspiration from the INEO Pocket DMG. Just look at that, the units look very similar. The DMG is a little bit longer, but if you take away the trackpad and make the analog stick a little bit larger, move the start and select buttons up, you've got the 40XXV. So I'm personally thinking that Anbenek had somebody inside of INEO's camp. Can't confirm that though. In regards to release date, we don't have a confirmation yet, but Ambernic typically doesn't take long after they release these trailers to give more information or even release the unit. They announced the unit with a video on their channel over the weekend, and I've got two thoughts in regards to this. The first is that the 3D gameplay looks really smooth. Have a look at Grand Theft Auto Vice City on the PSP here. They've also got some footage of Chopper Attack on the N64, which looks really amazing. And it's running without a hitch. Later in the video, they've got some Sega Saturn gameplay. That looks quite amazing. Uh, on the 35XX, a lot of the Sega Saturn games wouldn't run properly. Now, this could be because of the updated 64-bit operating system, or because they just tweaked these games extensively to run as smoothly as possible for the demo video. Or it could possibly be because of a slightly more powerful processor. Something like the Rockchip 3566, which is available in the PowerKD RGB30. Now, that is most likely not the case. The smooth performance is most likely due to tweaks to the operating system and the software. But it would be nice to have a different piece of hardware in here, as Anbenic has been historically known for using the same internals and just changing the form factor on their devices. It would be quite exciting if there was some new internals on this unit. We'll have to wait and see on that, though. The next thing that I wanted to mention is the side profile of the unit. So if we go over onto this video I saved over here, got it running at a little bit of a slower rate so that I can stop it at the, exactly the right point. And you can see that the triggers are very slim. The reviewers that were looking at the unit are quite pleased with these stack triggers. Thought that occurred to me was why they didn't think of possibly doing something like I knew did with a DMG and have inline triggers instead of stack triggers, which would make it a lot more slimmer as well. So I'm guessing this depends on personal preference. A lot of people won't agree with me. I think a lot of people like the stack shoulder buttons. I'm just thinking that it would be a lot more pocketable with the inline shoulder buttons. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Do you prefer stacked? Would you, do you think that inline would be a good idea? Would you be picking up an RG40XXV? Is it something that interests you? If you're interested in the Pocket DMG, have a look at my overview video on that one by clicking on the link on screen now. That's it for this video though. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next tech update.